everyone! Welcome to Children's Church! It's me again, Teacher Rovi. How are you all today? Are you feeling good? That's great! Because I'm feeling good as well. Do you know why? Because I feel loved. I feel loved because Jesus loves me. And because Jesus loves me, I don't have to worry about anything else, even the food that I will eat or the clothes that I will wear, and many more reasons which you will learn today in our class. So prepare your notebooks, pens, and Bible as we start our class today. Let us pray. Father, Thank you for this another day that you have given to us. Lord, we are so excited to learn about your word. We are so excited to worship you today. Lord, we want to know how we can love you more and love others as well. Thank you, Father, for everything that you're doing in our lives. We love you, Lord. In Christ's name we pray. Amen. Alright, so let's worship God today. Come on now, let's open up the book. Come on now, and take a good long look. And see, God has given us all we need to be free. It's about you, it's about me, it's about the truth that sets it's about L-O-V-E, love from the Father up above. It's about hope, it's about life, it's about the love of Jesus Christ. It's about everlasting, never failing love. Come on now, let's open up the A good long look and see God has given us all we need to be free. It's about you, it's about me, it's about the truth that sets us free. It's about L O V E, the love from the Father up above. It's about hope. Bibles today. Have you ever wondered why God did give His Son Jesus? Jesus left His throne, came down to earth, and lived as a man like us. It must have been so hard to give your precious one. And it must have been so scary to live in a new place, right? But there was a great reason why God did it. Love is the reason. We needed a Savior and 
God has a perfect plan. The perfect plan was Jesus. Let's say Jesus. Because of God's great love for us, He gave us His Son. Not just to save us from the result of our disobedience, but for us to have a long and a better life. Whose love can ever do that, huh? So what should we do about that? If God is for us, then no one can defeat us. Is that true? No one can defeat us? Yes, it's true. God's own son suffered for us to buy us back. He paid the price and gave his life for all of us. And that's how much he loved us. With Jesus, God will surely give us all things. All things? Hmm, I know what you're thinking. Hold your horses, that's for another lesson. Let's go back. Can anything separate us from the love of Christ? No. Can troubles, sufferings, difficulties, heights, deaths, angels, demons? No. If we don't have food or no clothing, or if we are in danger, can all these things separate us from the love of Christ? No. I'm sure that nothing can separate us from the love God has for us. Dear friends, when we love, we become God's child. And we will know Him closely because God is love. Wait, wait, God is what? God is love. And love comes from God. Okay, but how do we love? We can love by giving, saying, or serving. No one has ever seen God. Have you seen Him? But if we love each other, God lives in us. Fear may come, but when God's presence is in us, He can give us strength to overcome and fight fear. Where God's love is, there is no fear. And God gives us this command. Whoever loves God must also love his brother. That's all for today, children. I'm glad you learned something new today from the Word of God. See you again next Saturday. Have a great day. Bye! It's activity time with Teacher Dawn. Hello, city champs. Are you ready for an exciting game? Today's activity is called Describe God's Love. In this activity, you will need to guess which picture describes God's love best. Are you ready, city champs? Okay, I'll start with a question. Have you ever tried measuring love? Has anyone ever asked you, how much do you love going to school? Or, how much do you love your dog? Well, some of us might have answered, as big as the planet Earth, or as tall as Mount Everest. But, can we measure God's love? Let's find out. God's love is wide, or is it narrow? God's love is wide, yes, but God's love can never be measured. It is deeper and wider than the ocean and more vast than space. On to the next one. Who does not like puppies? They're so cute and lovable. 
but you'll be surprised that a lot of people stop loving dogs when they become old. My question for you is, does God's love have an end or does it last forever? God's love is everlasting. He loves us no matter what and no matter when. City Champs, have you ever broken a promise you made? Promises are so hard to keep, but do you know if God's love is faithful or can be broken? If your answer is faithful, then you are right. God's love is faithful. It means that it cannot be turned off. It does not break. It's unchanging and it's unconditional. Right? Last one. Can you think of the greatest gift you ever received for your birthday or Christmas? It might have been a favorite doll, your favorite shoes, a trip to Disneyland, Whatever it was, I'm pretty sure we appreciated the person and we appreciated the gift. But how about God's love? Is God's love selfish or is it generous? God's love indeed is generous. But does that mean that being generous is giving the basic needs like food, shelter, clothing, or work? Well, being generous means giving more than what is expected and going out of your way for that loved one. And God definitely has done that for the world because God has sent Jesus Christ, his only son, to save us from our sins and grant us eternal life if we believe. What an amazing thing God's love is. God's love is beyond anything and everything. God's love is great and you're so special because God loves you. Well done, City Champs, and I'll talk to you soon. God bless you. Hi, Champs. It's time for our memory verse. Our memory verse is from Matthew chapter 22 verse 39 and it says and the second command is like the first love your neighbor as you love yourself very good can you say it one more time Matthew chapter 22 verse 39 and it says and the second command is like the first love your neighbor as you love yourself awesome city chums and now it's time for our wrap up it's wrap up time thank you teachers for the wonderful lesson and for that memory verse isn't that amazing to know that God loves us so much that He did everything for us. He loves us because He gave us good health and energy to join this class. He loves us because we were able to wake up today and enjoy our time with our family and friends. And a lot more things that God did for us. So I hope you will feel that love of the Lord today. Let us pray. Father, thank you for the love that you have given to us. We are so honored and we are so thankful that we can have that kind of love in our lives. Father, thank you that we will not worry about anything because we can surrender it to you always. Father, this day we will enjoy with our family and friends as we show love to them. Thank you, Father, for everything that you did for us. We love you so much, God. In Christ's name we pray. Amen. Thank you for joining, everyone. Always remember, Jesus loves you so much. See you again next time. Bye!